Christ 17 TV, baby, back at you with another one. We go go back in time a little bit. Bill and Ted this shit, you feel me? One of Christ 17's great adventures, you feel me? The time I went to jail for a fucking roach. When I mean a roach, I mean something this big. You see this? No bigger, maybe even smaller. I probably smaller because in the hood we, we don't we don't waste no weed. We smoke the shit to the fingertips. <coughs> so I'm on a hundred sixty eighth and Union. So we walk to the corner store. Step. 169th and Boston Road. Okay. <clears throat> so we standing in front of the store, a drink of Heineken's in a brown bag. We chilling. We smoking blunt. It's going around in a little cipher and shit. We chiefing. You know what I'm saying? We had seen the boys fly by twice. You know what I'm saying? But it was no big deal. Because that's what we did out there. We just... Chilled on the corner, in front of the bodega, you got motherfuckers freestyling, you got motherfuckers just chilling, you got motherfuckers hustling, <clears throat> you got motherfuckers selling loose, loose fucking cigarettes, you got motherfuckers selling weed, so there was, there was a barber shop there, and I used to be in the barber shop all the time, so in the summertime, we stand outside, you know what I'm saying? Try to see if we can, you know what I mean? Hatch a little flow out there, see some motherfuckers who we know, all the shit. So we out there, smoking the L. And the, and the blunt comes to me, and when I, I mean, it comes to me, it's like the fifth time. It's like three or four of us on the L. So I'm, Hitting the blunt, right? And a red car Buick just pulls up. Four motherfuckers jump out the car. Now, I hit it one more time. And I put the shit down. And I stepped on the shit. I'm talking about it was like this big. Matter of fact, let me, let me show you again. It's like this big. No bullshit. Tiny as hell. Stepped on it. Crushed it out. The whole thing. There's bit like... I did the whole shit. These motherfuckers, TNT, tell me, put down the beer. Didn't trip on the beer at all. Didn't even trip on my Heineken. These motherfuckers make me lift up my motherfucking foot. Now they take this little ass motherfucking joint. And let me see if I got. And no lie. Put the shit in a bag like this. You see this? They pull under these moves. Evidence. Wrote some shit down of my name, my birth date, the whole shit. Put the put the motherfucker inside there, handcuff me, and put me in the back seat. Now they pull over her to the side, right? Her the next block. I'm sitting in the back seat cuffed. One cop walks down the block. So now it's three cops and me in this car. So I'm cuffed. We like a block and a half up. There's motherfuckers from the other hood walking down the block talking about, oh shit, they got a TNT dude that got brains. These motherfuckers thought I was the police. I'm sitting in the car with the cops and I'm cuffed. I'm cuffed up. So now I start tripping like, oh, hell no, these motherfuckers gonna think I'm TNT out here and not gonna wanna fuck with me out here. Even though all my folks who knew me on this corner knew I, I was fresh back from Cali, had my BM, she was pregnant, all this shit. We stayed around the corner on 168 between Prospect and Union. Fucked up little spot to live in. Uh, 
It was probably the worst place I ever lived in the whole X. No fucking lie. So now, so now these dudes waiting for the white van to come. So the white van comes. They take me out. They put me in the back of a fucking van with three more dudes. So now they're trying to hit different spots. So these motherfuckers rolling around and the white van rolls up on somebody they think is smoking a fucking joint. The motherfucker was smoking a cigarette. So they had to let dude go. So they grabbed this other dude who was hustling crack. I think it was on Boston Road in like 169 or, or, or no, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to think. Washington. Somewhere over there. About six blocks from my crib. Up the block though. So they throw me in the, what they throw dude in the back, right? So now we're going back to the precinct. I think it was the 48th, right? So now dude is trying to pull some shit out of his pants and throw it next to me. Some work. He's trying to throw some crack towards me and I'm here on a doobie charge. This big and he trying to make me have a crack charge. So I kicked that motherfucking work back I told that motherfucker, man, you better put that shit and take your own shit. Don't put that shit on me, man. Straight up. He tried throwing that shit. I kept kicking that shit over there. Bro, don't be kicking that shit over here. Throwing your little motherfucking work over here. I'm not taking your beef. So, we get down to the precinct. This motherfucker tries to pick up the work. And while they bringing him out the back of the van, he tries to drop it. So, when they pull me out. It's on the floor. So when I'm about to come out the van, I said, oh, that ain't mine. That ain't mine. Motherfucker, that, that ain't mine. It was two motherfuckers left, and they're like, ooh, man, somebody done dropped some work. Not mine. So don't, don't put that shit on me. Get out the van. Now this dude is crying because now they done found his, his fucking work, and he's already got an open case. He's... He's playing, that ain't mine, that, that ain't mine. The motherfucker said, it gotta be yours, because you're the only one who came out the van and the shit on the floor. So we get in the cell, we get down to the bookings, dude is sad, sad as hell, scared to death to go to, to fucking Rikers. I don't know if he gangbang or what, but dude was shook. So... I go through the bookings for two days for a fucking little ass fucking roast. Two fucking days for something this fucking big. I finally see the judge after like probably like 36 hours, some shit like that, in the bookings, sleeping on the benches, fucking crackheads, dope fiends, bum motherfuckers. The shit stank like shit. They give me these fucked up dry ass sandwiches. Motherfucker melt, just some bullshit, it's whack, whack as fuck, whack as fuck. So now, they let me out, and these motherfuckers make me do three days of community service, going to the sanitation place, and these motherfuckers dropping me off at different spots, sweeping up mad shit in the rain, all kind of shit, so, for a fucking doobie. Now, today... You can smoke the weed in front of the cops there. You know what I'm saying? Times have changed so much. This was in 19, I want to say, 98. Yeah, because my son was not born yet. So it was, it was, yeah, it was 98. So the thing is now, I just wanted to compare the times. You know what I'm saying? How fucked up is it for some shit that you could blow it down in front of the cops now? They don't give a fuck about no weed to you had to hide and go to jail for a fucking doobie and go through the whole system and had to do community service. Three days. Three fucking days in the rain, all that shit. They didn't give a fuck. They, they making you go. So I just wanted to compare yesterday to today with how it's just so easy just to get away with smoking weed because it's no charge now. They don't even trip. But back then, undercover cops would fucking look at you from down the block and run up on you and try to get you for smoking weed and take you through the fucking system. 
You was going to jail for smoking butt. How fucked up is that? And that was in the Bronx. You would think in the BX, they roll up, they find this, they ain't, they ain't gonna sweat you. But guess what? Giuliani, that piece of shit motherfucker, that's how he had the cops on the shit. You couldn't even enjoy a fucking L. You could be in the building. If they come in the building and smell it, they finna take you to jail. They're going to find the shit, unless that you swallow that shit. That's a fact. But yeah, man, I had to just tell you a fucked up story about going to jail for a motherfucking roach and have to go through the fucking system and go, man, go through the bookings for a fucking roach. Fucking bullshit. Yeah, and fuck the motherfuckers. Fuck Giuliani for that bullshit. Three days community service for fucking smoking a roach. You bitch ass motherfucker. Christ 17. Hitting you with another one. Catch you on the flip side player. You already know.